So the first thing that you have to do is to get your raw DNA data. There are so many videos out there that teach you how to get it, or maybe in your DNA company, you will find the instructions. And if you don't find them, just write to the contact mail that they have, and for sure you will get your raw data. Uh, this data comes in a zip file. I had my DNA test done in my heritage company, and the data is in CSV format, but what I really need for Headmatch is to have it on zip. Then you go to the Headmatch page, and you have to register yourself. It's very easy to register. There are other videos to that show you how to register, but it's really, really very easy. You have to consider that when you upload your DNA information to this page, you are donating your information because uh, this is a free site and the work in this site is done by academics. So they use your DNA to get more information and to search deeper in, you know, humanity. I remember I when I was registering myself, I got this message like head match Genesis is a peek at things to come for GED match. And then it said like, click here to continue to Genesis homepage. So I was a little bit dowdy about it. Like, oh, but I want to, to use GED match. Why I'm gonna go to a Genesis site? But well, what I understand is that Genesis is like a new algorithm of GED match. So they are going to be merged at some point. So the first thing you have to do, and that helped me a lot, was to use this new feature, a mixture oracle with population search. I am Mexican, so I wrote Mexican. Then it will give me the tests or the calculators that have Mexican DNA, I guess, <laughs> tested under laboratories. So this is the one that got me really nice results. So let's say you are European, uh, like French, you know, so I, you can put France or French. Here it says, for instance, Sweden will match on Swedish and Sweden. So it doesn't matter how you, that you don't write exactly the word that you are searching for. These are all the tests that works, that work with the French uh, DNA. Basque French, Southwest French, so you can choose your ethnicity like this. Mm, I've heard that Eurogenes K13 is the best database that you will find for Europe origins. And well, in my case, MDLP K23B is the best database for Latin American people. There are not a lot of Latin Americans, I think, tested in here because I just found Mexican, Bolivian, Peruvian and Colombian. But I searched Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, even Argentina. I didn't find them on the database. So if you're Latin American, don't put a lot of <laughs> expectations on finding your nationality in these tests. Here you have a Aerogenes K15. What about that? And then you have, the, you have other tests like K36. It means the number of nationalities involved in the test. So it's K13, you will have 13 nationalities tested, 15 nationalities tested, 36, 36 nationalities tested. I, I've heard that a lot of people put uh, a lot of expectations that if you have more nationalities, you will get more results about the ethnicities that you get like ambiguous in other tests. They will give you more information. That's true, but they will separate you more from your primary and secondary ethnicities. So I've already introduced my kit number before. You don't have to write it every time you search for a test, don't worry. So here I have a graphic and I have my data here, but it's a little bit confusing because it's like, okay, I know I'm a Indian, but then it's, I have to look. Okay, if you want more order, then you have to click here in Oracle. So, okay, 44%, this differs a little bit from my heritage, but well, yes, I'm, I'm a Indian. My heritage did say that I was 80%. So here it says I'm just 44%. I found here European early farmers, almost 20%, Caucasian, so all these uh, European ethnicities give me like, yes, almost like a 40%, just as my Amerindian. So I guess that I don't have only 20% as it was stated on my heritage, I have 40%. And then I have all the ambiguous that my heritage didn't give me at all. Yes, it's good. Uh, my GED match, head match, <laughs> sorry, I've got my Spanish thing. <laughs> um, it gives you more detail about your ethnicities that you have less from 3%. If you would be from one population, you would be really close to be Mexican. Yes, I'm Mexican. Serrano, I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means, chilote, but well. So here, if you were of uh, primary or secondary populations, 
Okay, here's what function me that I found Italian North. It's one of the highest German Volga and South German. So in my heritage, it said that I was 3% Italian, but now that this test says that I'm 40%, I would say Caucasian is 20% my Irish um, DNA that I got on my heritage, and the other 20% would be Italian. Italian, north, um, a little bit the south of Germany, a little bit of north of, of Spain, and French south, like that area. So let's go back. You want to go to Oracle 4. So Oracle 4 is barely the same, but uh, you have four population approximation. That is why Oracle 4. Let's give it some time. It, it takes a little bit more than 20 seconds. Okay, now I have my four populations approximation. And I found I would be Bolivian, Luiseño, Mosca, Sardinia. This doesn't mean that you won't be Mexican. <laughs> Mexican, I don't have it here, but I, well, yes, it's here. Bolivian, Cochamba, French, Mexican, Serrano. Okay, this is one test. Remember, this is for Latin cultures. So I guess that's why Bolivian appears so much in here, like Mexican, Mayan. But let's search my second largest ethnicity that I got on my heritage, that I was Irish ethnicity so let's wait a little bit be patient please give it some time to think so here i have my new results we need more order so we have to go to oracle mostly the same 40 percent amerindian 20 percent north at which is the place where irish welsh and scottish ethnicities and 16 percent west mediterranean 7% Baltic, so okay, this, this matches the Italian, the North Italy results that I had from the MDLP test. For the population, I rather search on Oracle 4. I have it, Oracle 4. Okay, it's the same here, same order. And now I have, if I was, to, <laughs> it's really different, right? If I would be Greenlander, if I had one population, or North Amerindian, which I am Central American in my heritage, so it matches. North Italian. So I guess West Greenlander is the Irish uh, area. And well, if I use two populations, that would be Mayan, Spanish Catalonia, three populations, Mayan, Southwest French, Spanish Galicia. I recommend you to try different tests, not just the, the European or the Latin. Like if your nationality or your ethnicity is in a lot of tests, try them all. At first, it would be a little bit confusing, but at some point you will understand better your results let's go directly to oracle 4 so it says okay what's a little bit confusing too is the terms ehg whg what does that mean uh, you have to search a lot in wikipedia about the neolithic what it was uh, i think this is a european hunter gatherers and western hunter gatherers or something you will you will get to know a lot of the terms i found some information so if you have doubts don't please write in the comments maybe i can help you uh, but now we are, I am trying to show you how to use this platform. I got my results again. I was searching for Irish, right? Remember, I was using this platform for, from, for the Irish ethnicity. So it says Kennewick Amerindian. I know what's Kennewick, but I've, here I found Irish. So if I would be two population, three population, German, Hungary. <laughs> and well, the first one here uh, sounds a little bit more coincident with my DNA tests like Amerindian, Hungary, Irish and Amerindian again. What I did to not get confused, I started an Excel file and I wrote the name of the test and wrote the, I don't know, the first five or six results that are the most important, give them some color. So here I wrote, okay, this sounds logic, 50% Mayan, 25% Southwest French, 5% Galicia is not the first population that appeared to me, but it's the one that sounds more logic. So here's the, the one that I got. Okay, Irish. And um, let's say, okay, there are some terms that I didn't understand at the beginning. So I have I had to search for them, like ancestral Altai, what's that? So I wrote Central Eurasia and, and Siberia. European early farmers who were these guys. Mediterranean, Europe, Sardinia, Sicily, Malta. Okay, I've already got the Sardinian result before. North Atlantic, who are they? Uh, Irish, Scotland, Scotland, Welsh, and the UK. North Italian, North Italian. Here I go to North Italian. So in 
to test my population would be from North Italy. So if I wouldn't do this GED match thing, I wouldn't know. So I would say my heritage has a lot of accuracy because GED match is a really trusty site. A lot of academics do their study here. 